I feel like sleeping. Hi. It's getting pretty chilly out here. I'm not wearing much. And it's in the middle of the night. Now you. You told me, right? This was the place to sleep. Bata. Excuse me, sir. I mean, ma'am. Basag. Oh. oh, look at this cute little guy. I bet you would absolutely love what we have to offer, little one. We're an inn, of course, but we also have a special spa plan. A vacation for mind and body. It's really, really popular. So popular, in fact, that we always have a long line of people waiting to get in. Mm. Although, I don't know what it is, but I just feel something special from you. You can cut to the front of the line. Really? Oh, I'm just going on and on. What can I do for you? Uh, it's always 20, isn't it? Though, the special spa plan, please. I would love that. <laughs> The spa plan it is. <laughs> I'm so excited to get to work. I wish I was this excited. For any kind of work. Anyway, when would you like to be woken? Um, in the morning, please. Ah. Savor. Ah. You're pretty muscular for a Hylian. I like your vowish figure. Oh, oh. Wait, am I just wearing my mask through all this? I feel like the spa plan was a bad idea. If my intention is to hide the fact that I'm a man. <laughs> oh, no. All right, we made it, though. Sabota, you look like the very image of relaxation. Please be careful on your journey. The desert is dangerous. Now, obviously, I have to try to take off my mask while I'm in here. It just needs to happen, of course. But I just want to talk to everybody first, in case I fuck something up with it, you know? I don't think I want to buy steaks. Ah. Frida, good morning. I really want to use the actual Gerudo greeting. Savota. You know, Savota. But I'm worried I'd mess it up and embarrass myself. Mm. You know, like... Look at me! I can speak another language. It just feels like bragging. Well, I can speak Spanish. If my name was Jimothy. But it's not, so I actually I can't. Don't overthink it. Uh... You really think I'm putting too much thought into it? Maybe you're right. Gerudo Town is so different from home. I live in Rito Village. We don't get many visitors there, so I'm not really familiar with non-Rito. But now that I'm here, I should enjoy myself. I wanted to start by trying out some of the meat here, but... Uh. Well, they don't seem to have poultry. Wait, what? You only want to eat... Chickens? Or birds? Isn't that kind of messed up? Unless I'm misunderstanding this. Also, doesn't this water look kind of oily? Oh, no, wait, never mind. It's the colors of the stone that the water's on. It just looked very oily, you know? Arrows! Ma'am. How many should I wrap? All of them! There's three of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do math. Actually, I can't, but yeah. You sure do need a lot of arrows. You're a strange little guy, aren't you? I don't think so. I am uh, the very definition of a normal vi here. Nothing non vi about me. <laughs> huh. That little kid sleeping there. Can you wrap up the kid as well? I'll take that with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, I'm like a kid almost. Look how little I am. Give me all the arrows, please. Yeah, I don't care about the price. It doesn't matter to me. It's not an object. Thanks. Now. Obviously, I'm gonna go up there and see what's up, but I just wanna look over here first. Such a nice looking place. Oh my. Savotta to you as well. Oh, are you interested in taking my class, Vo and you? I'm a shy. During the day, I teach a class on the Vo of the world, and at night, I teach cooking classes. Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you join us? Uh, yeah, I'll do it. No, I am interested. 
Are you interested in the classes I teach to Vi before they set off from Gerudo Town? My Vo and you class is in the barracks. If you'd like, please stop by. Okay! I will. I feel like I have innate knowledge about Vo for some reason I can't quite put my finger on, but... There's a reason. You are reading a book. You are also reading a book. <laughs> Did I just wave? This class is absolutely critical for me. I've tried to cook up some great meals, but I only ever make dubious food. That's not good. But tell me more. When you're cooking, if you add insects or monster materials, you'll end up with dubious food. Okay, but if you know this, why do you keep doing it? Dumbass. Though if you ask me, there's nothing dubious about how absolutely inedible it is. Fair point. How about you? Are you making dubious food? <laughs> People really crave home cooking. Huh. Rather than designing an elaborate meal, it's sometimes better to make something quick using a few homemade ingredients. Huh. I should really write that down. Now you guys are learning a lot, aren't you? What's in this book? Chef Oritamu, Volume 1. Fairies? It is said that fairies truly do exist in the world, but that they will only appear before an individual with a pure soul. Damn. So that means I have a pure soul? One theory suggests that some special kind of cooking might be possible if you use the power of a fairy. I, Oritamu, have been a pure soul for over 35 years. I expect my fairy will arrive any day now. Hmm. Special effects? Most ingredients can imbue their meals with some unique effects. Ingredients that have cold properties can help you resist heat. Ingredients that have hardy properties can fully heal you and grant you temporary bonus vitality. There are many other effects to be found among ingredients. You just have to experiment. And don't forget, combining ingredients with the same effect may increase the effect's strength or duration. But combining ingredients with different effects may cancel their enhancing effects out. So you must be careful. I, Oritamu, am admittedly quite impatient, so I always have speed increasing hasty foods on hand. Tell me about these extraordinary elixirs. You can cook up an elixir by mixing a bug part and a monster part together. They can be made in pots, just like food. And with valuable ingredients, the elixir's effect will get stronger. Oh. So it's the valuable thing about the ingredients that increase the effect. You can also add acorns or chickaloo tree nuts to impart your elixir with minor healing properties. Huh. However, I, Oritamu, am deathly afraid of insects and would never even think of touching them. Fortunately, there are regular meals that you can cook which will produce the same effect as elixirs. That's enough. I've heard enough out of you, Oritamu. You do seem like a person, for sure. How about you? Are you a person? Have you already eaten this morning? My husband says it, and I agree with him. Bow from other places are so tiny. I wonder if you people eat enough. Your husband? Mm. Oh yes, and a newlywed too. Many of the vendors who work these stalls are married, in fact. It's pretty typical of married Vi to live outside these walls, really. But we come back to sell our wares, of course. Mm. It does mean I don't see my husband all that often, but we have to make a living. So buy and sell all you like. Yeah, goodbye. Ah. We're fine getting less sleep than most folks, but with how dangerous the desert could be, it's good to stay alert. I was tempted to read the cert because of her wares. I always eat rocks for dessert. If you start feeling tired, be sure to take a break and get a good night's rest. In fact, I'm starting to feel like a Goron. You. Hey, wait a minute. Who are you? Chill shrooms are great, but the nights here are so cold. Maybe I should get some sun shrooms instead. Jules. Maybe I do have some sun shrooms for you. Mm. Okay, maybe you don't want them. You're just thinking about buying them, I see. I get it. 
Fashion Passion. Good name. What's this? Please see the front desk for all inquiries regarding the renting of seals. Right! Sand seals! Hell yeah, dude! Gimme, gimme! Let me ride your seal, ma'am! You actually walk slowly in the sand. Should I be opening this? <gasps> what is that up there? Hold on! Oh! Gerudo's... Hold on. It looked like a knife and not a uh, sword. This common sword is often carried by Gerudo women for self-defense. It's short. Curved blade is easily recognized. Yeah. I want to uh, recognize it forever, so I'm going to take a picture of it. Look at this amazing picture here. Now that's a picture you can be proud of. Um... I don't think I want to rent any... Maybe I do want to rent a seal. Such a weird sentence that I never thought I would ever say. <laughs> a foreign vi! Savota! Hey there, kid! Sorry, but I can't play with you right now, lady. What are you doing? <laughs> I am pretending to be Lady Urbosa. Lady Urbosa was an amazing person who was born a long, long time before I was. She was a champion who saved this town from an evil ghost. Right! Champion! I'm going on patrols every day to make sure that no more bad monsters show up. Good job, Pearly. Keep it up. Hey, dude, I saw some tasty rocks over there. You want to check them out, maybe? Pretty tasty. Okay, let's head up here. <laughs> Who are you? Dude, doesn't it look like this woman right here has a beard with the shadow? Look at that. <laughs> Tracy. Oh, Tracy! Tracy, I'm a huge fan. Can I have your autograph? What is it, ma'am? As you can see, I'm busy gathering information. Oh my god. Ma'am? Don't tell me you don't know who I am. No, 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 I do, I do! No way, you've never heard of Rumor Mill either? I've heard of it! Phew, thank goodness. If you told me you'd never heard of Hyrule's most popular news publication, Rumor Mill... Well, I don't even know how I'd have taken that news. It would have hurt, that's for sure. I'm Tracy herself, you know. Hmm. Hey now, get that wishy-washy garbage out of here. Once more with conviction! What? Truth is, I'm Tracy herself, from Ruma Mill. What the fuck? I suppose that works. Anyway, I hope you enjoy reading Rumor Mill. I take pride in my work. Tracy, are you okay? You seem a little off. Here we go. Riju, Gerudo chef. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh, seems you have something rather interesting there. Uh, what do you mean? Oh. You stand before Lady Riju, chef. Of the Gerudo. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on, Bulliara. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. You there! What's your name? Don't say Link, <gasps> you idiot. And what is it you've come all the way here to tell me, Link? I can calm Naboris. You think you have what it takes to subdue something so powerful as a divine beast? The only ones who could ever control them were champions like Lady Urboza. And all of the champions died in the Calamity 100 years ago. Hmm... 
Bugliata, a memory just jumped into my head. Something my mother spoke of. When the calamity happened, the princess of Hyrule placed the fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. A swordswoman, right? Ma'am, you misspoke. That swordswoman, much like our new friend here, was named Link. Though it always seemed more legend than fact. Hmm. What of the device on this one's hip? It appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. I can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter. Can you? Mm. I don't remember ever hearing of a Hylian Vi among the champions. Oh. Wait a moment. You're a Vo! The penny drops. <laughs> a Vo within our walls is a great crime. But a Vo who is a champion is a great time. Well, we'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Urbosa. And if you're here to help us with Naboris, then we are allies. Mm. You saw it on your way to our town. The vine beast Va Naboris, cloaked in a massive sandstorm, hurling lightning at any who dare approach. Mm. We have to do something to stop it. But we have yet to find any way to appease the divine beast on our own. If you truly are a champion, perhaps you will be able to enter Naboris and calm its anger. Lady Riju, I don't see how you can trust a complete stranger with something as important as this task. Perhaps if this person were first to prove his worth by recovering your stolen Thunder Helm. Mm. Ah, yes. An interesting suggestion. You see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from Naboris. The Thunder Helm. A family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo. But as Bulliara says, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Oh. Our soldiers can tell you all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arch. It will lead you to the barracks. Then, seek out Captain Teak and ask for a full report. Hmm. Without my heirloom, you'll never be able to approach Naboris. <laughs> you know, I take heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself. Lady Urboza must be looking out for us. Hmm. I expected them to be more angry. What if I take off my rag? How will you see that? Let me wear this nice ruby circlet. Uh. Sound the alarm! A vow has been detected! Capture him at once! <laughs> really? The queen allowed me to be here. You bastards! Uh. Vow are forbidden from entering this town. This is Gerudo law, do you understand? Never come back! Oh yeah? Check this out. Wanna see a magic trick? <laughs> Dumbass. These guards aren't that smart, are they? You really should find new ones. So where are the barracks? Here? There was another reason I wanted to go to the barracks. Savota. What? Miss Ashai's class on relationships is about to start. Oh, were you interested in taking Mrs. Ashai's class? I imagine a foreign vi like you could learn something new. Yes, I am. Ah. Miss Ashai teaches a class on the ins and outs of relationships in the world beyond Gerudo Town. She teaches a cooking class too. Also pretty important for surviving. To be honest, I wasn't going to take them. But my baba was nagging me. Studying day and night is utterly ridiculous, if you ask me. You have to do that much studying? For relationships? Relationships are pretty easy. There are only a couple rules. What the f- <laughs> Look at that one! Anyway, the rules. Don't be a dick. Communicate. 
And everything else will naturally follow from that. That's my advice to anyone. Take it! Or leave it. A homeless person?! Muava. Savo. What's Savo doing here? What? Surprised. You might be able to fool all the other Vi around here, but you won't fool me so easily. You know what? Do you mind if I recommend you to the queen as the new guard of this town? The other ones suck. Don't worry, though. It doesn't matter much to me what you do. But, since you came all the way back here, maybe you'd like to stay a bit and chat. The goddess statue? Oh. oh, the goddess statue has been here since long before I was even born. No one here really believes in that stuff anymore, though. So they tend to avoid stopping here. Kinda like they avoid me! But someone has to keep the goddess statue company, so here I am. Oh, that statue! Right! I was confused for a second. <laughs> it's such a treat to chat with Avo again. Will you humor me a little bit longer? Yeah, you seem interesting. Have you ever left the town? Mm. Ho ho, I may not look it now, but I was quite the traveler when I was young. Quite a beauty too. It was a rare thing for Avo not to notice me come into a room. But I had a fairy tale notion in my mind. I'd heard of the lover's pond. And I thought I'd meet my true love there. Yeah, I think I know where that is. It's shaped like a heart, isn't it? And there's another one. Shaped like a heart that has been broken. I traveled all across Hyrule searching for this fabled place. But I couldn't find it. And before I knew it, I'd grown old. The bow no longer turned when I walked in. Oh, don't look so sad. I stopped being sad about it a long time ago. And I chased my dreams. <laughs> it's such a treat to chat with a Vo. Uh, see ya. Oh. Just live your life to the fullest, little Vo. Okay, little Vi. Is it time? Oh, statue of the goddess. Grand upon me power. I am gonna go for stamina. I'm going full stamina, dude. Yeah. A stamina vessel. It appears you still possess spirit orbs. Yeah, give me more. Thank you. Now I have a lot of stamina. Whew! I can't wait to have three full wheels. Why are you clapping? Sand seals, 20 rupees? That sounds pretty cheap. Really? 20 rupees for a sand seal? Yeah, Vasak, to you as well. If you're hoping to cross the vast Gerudo desert, sand seal surfing is the way to do it. It's only 20 rupees to rent one. Need a shield too? Just pay 50 rupees. What do you say? Sand seal? Seeliously? <laughs> sand seals are animals native to the Gerudo Desert Gateway. It's quite dangerous to cross the desert on foot, but if you have a sand seal, you'll breeze right along! Obviously, sand seals are incredibly important to the Gerudo people. Look at her little uh, piece of cloth on her tummy. Or lower region. It's an image of a seal. <laughs> They say practice makes perfect, so why not just try for yourself? How do I set seal? <laughs> ah! <laughs> My god. Steering a sand seal is really easy. They'll go in whatever direction you want. But! You need a shield to sand seal surf. So don't forget about that. Hmm. They say practice makes perfect. No, actually... I'll seal you later, okay? Mm -hmm. What? Is that some kind of slang? I wonder if it's just a thing outside Gerudo Town. Anyway, the Gerudo Desert is vast. You'd be wise to take a sand seal if you're traveling beyond town. Yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you, you sand seal seller? Um... Whoop! That's a chest. I spotted that with my eye. Whoop! 
Yeah, Jaggy can't hear me. A golden bow. This Gerudo made bow is popular for the fine ornament ornamentations along its limbs. Designed for hunting and warfare alike, this bow was engineered to strike distant targets. Wait, like the phrenic bow? Let me actually take a picture of this. I need it for my scrapbook. What a beautiful looking bow. And it's made of gold. Probably sell a fortune. What's this? Oh. What's the password? Uh. Uh. Yeah. Gerudo? Oh. Oh shit. Gr. Gr. Gra. Gra. Go drink milk in the bar or something. The secret club secret. Wait, are you talking about the uh, Corona or Corova milk bar? Always wanted to go there. What am I looking for? Shit. Here. The clothes shop. Fashion Passion has a secret entrance where only members can get in. To gain entrance, you need a secret password known only to members. It seems that once you give the wrong password, you won't be able to try again for an entire day. Damn. Okay. Well. I'll have to figure that out. Now, where this barracks at? Was it up here to the right or something? Let me go up here again. They did throw me out last time, but... Yeah, I'm back. I can't believe he didn't stop what happened last time, dude. I thought we were friends now. This has to be the barracks. Oh, yeah. This is it. What's that? Oh, was this the relationships class? Let me take a seat. Oh. A shy! Oh, would you be interested in my class on interacting with Vo and the world outside this town? I'll observe. <laughs> okay, everyone, let's show our cute observer what we've been learning in class. Now then, you're walking down the streets on your way somewhere, and a handsome Vo you've never met approaches. Oh? I would wave casually to him. But also keep myself prepared in case he's a distraction for a bandit ambush. <laughs> Ma. Excellent thinking, Paja. That's a prudent approach to a new situation. Remember that sometimes Vo may look suspicious, but are just being wary due to the sight of a daunting Gerudo. Oh. I would enthusiastically greet him, approaching him with a smile and with my hands clearly empty. You think it's an animal? Wow, Dina. That's a very optimistic approach to take. <laughs> Being overtly friendly is an excellent way to put the stranger's mind at ease. Oh! I would walk casually toward him and then strike a fierce blow when he least suspected it. <sighs> Risa. That would be a crime. <laughs> oh, it's you. Did you want to observe the Voa new class? I'll observe. I just want to mm. see if there's more. Attention, everyone. Let's get started. We can show this cute vibe what we've been learning. Now then. In your travels, you come upon an injured Vo laying on the ground. What do you do? I immediately lift him up over my shoulder and carry him to the nearest person who can treat him. Ma. That's a very proactive answer, Pasha. Always be aware that an injured person may have non-visible injuries before you move them, though. Oh. I would determine what was the matter and make a medicine on the spot to treat him. How would you do that? That sounds unrealistic, Dina. <laughs> Great answer, Dina. What do you mean? That was a terrible answer. Just be careful that the Vo doesn't have some sort of allergy to the ingredients in your medicine. Oh. 
I would secretly bring him back to my home, where I could help him gradually recover. What the fuck? What do you mean secretly? Oh, because you can't bring Vo in here. Mm. Risa. A sweet sentiment. But also basically kidnapping. <laughs> Risa seems to be a bit of a problem person here. Are we sure she's okay? Oh. I'll need to see more of this. <laughs> you are suddenly approached by a Vo whose attention you've sought. And he abruptly engages you in conversation. Nice. Hmm. Um, I would pretend that I don't know how to speak his language. That's a strategy, I guess. Interesting approach, Paja. You could inspire some curiosity in the Vo by doing that. Remember, it isn't unrealistic that the Vo may actually speak the language you pretend to know, too. Oh. I would take the up-close opportunity to determine his social standing based on the clothes he's wearing. That's so weird. Dina, I don't know, man. <laughs> Good thinking, Dina. Why do you keep giving Dina points for this? That was a terrible answer. Just remember that sometimes all of someone's good clothes are dirty. So they might be so they might wear something more casual. Oh whoop! I would grab his hand and twist his wrist until he agreed to marry me. What well, well? What you Reese Let's talk after class. I think I've heard enough of this here. Risa? Just saying. You need to get your shit together. So this is the barracks, huh? May I speak to the person in charge? I have been tasked with defeating the divine beasts. Yes, it is I. The hero of Hyrule I have arrived. Give me all I need. What are you doing in here? This is the barracks for the chef's guards. Not a place for tourists to gather. By the way, I'm... I'm intentionally pronouncing it chef, okay? If you've already written a comment... Ha! I got you. <laughs> We're on high alert after the recent theft. So you should clear out. Huh? What? Bulliara sent you? Oh. My apologies. I'm the officer in charge of the soldiers, Captain Teak. The chief's heirloom was stolen by thieves belonging to the Yiga clan the other day. So everyone is on edge. Hmm. We've determined that the Yiga hideout is in Carusa Valley, but... The soldiers are all exhausted, so I was just thinking about requesting some extra help. That's what I'm here oh. for. Hey, everyone, listen up. I don't know why I just said it like that. <laughs> this Hylian Vi has agreed to help us. So offer her any information you can. Oh. Consider yourself a part of our unit. If you have any questions, my troops will be happy to help. I am part of the unit. So this belongs to me now. I am taking this. You can have this in return. It's totally new. Unused. How about you? Oh, quest! Zavok. Hey, Malina. Oh. I... I finally found the Vo of my dreams. And I just recently married him. I thought I had finally found happiness. Mm. But then... My husband felt ill with a rare disease. One difficult to cure. The only thing that can save him is the innards of a Molduga. But I would never be able to take down such a creature myself. I asked the soldiers for help, but... They said they have serious issues to deal with. They said they had no time for my plight. They turned me away. But then why wouldn't they? The Molduga is a menacing beast. None who face one escape unscathed. 
So perhaps it's foolish to expect anyone to stick their neck out for a stranger. Malina, listen to me. I am the hero of Hyrule. I can take on the Malduga. It is my specialty. I thought I'd finally gotten out of this town. Never thought I'd have to come crawling back. Listen. Tell me about this Malduga. It's a monster. A terror so savage that even other monsters won't approach it. It's often been spotted west of here in the Toruma Dunes. And in the south. It's very sensitive to vibrations. And it tends to attack anything that draws near. You can't approach it or even near it. You can't use someone as bait. So what am I to do? Oh yeah? Medicinal Molduga. Maybe I'll have to stomp the ground a bit to lure him out. Or it, or she, I don't know. The thing. My god, this town is bigger than I thought. Sandseal Rental Shop, Northwest Booth. Oh-ho. You only have one Hi. left! I'm not gonna take that. At least not right now. Are these just people's homes? Dude, all the homes in this game are so cozy. And they're so differently looking too. Or different looking. I want a home like this. What's going on up here? Ooh, a scholar, maybe. It was over there the whole time? I thought it's strange that the sandstorm over there never lifted. Mm? Hmm? Huh. And what is a Hylian Vi like yourself doing here? What are you doing? Hmm. I am an archaeologist of sorts. I was just poring over some ancient text that I discovered the other day. <laughs> and I finally decoded it. Well, part of it at least. But the rest is not far off. With this discovery, I'll finally be able to make a name for myself as an archaeologist. Oh. Of course! You and I meeting here is no coincidence. I've never been one to question fate. I can't explain why, but I trust you for some reason. I'll tell you the details of my research if you can keep a secret. Um, yeah, sure, sure, my lips are sealed. Ah. There's a temple east of here near the entrance to the Gerudo Desert. It's dedicated to the seven giant statues of the heroines, said to be the divine protectors of the Gerudo. It was at this temple that I originally discovered the ancient scripture. It reads, When the symbols of the seven find their place, the blessed path will be revealed. That's all I've been able to decipher so far. It's believed that people once came from around the world in search of the heroine's blessing. Mm. But as far as I can tell, it doesn't appear that anyone has found it yet. Wait, blessing? Mm. I'm not sure what exactly it means, but... Maybe I'll find out once I've deciphered more of that text. I'm not sure if this is related, but it's said that heroines held powers that were part of a bigger whole. Each heroine had a different power. Skill, spirit, endurance, knowledge, flight, motion, and gentleness. But they all look the same to me. <laughs> I should understand the entire script before long, but that's only the beginning of my problems. Mm. That divine beast has been moving around the area, making it harder for me to conduct my research. That thing has no respect for academia. Well, Rotana, I, the hero of Hyrule, Sir Link himself, have taken on the quest to battle this beast to the death. So, you, are you listening, Rotana? I will be m murdering the... Okay. I'll see you later. Just trust that I've got it covered. You'll see soon enough. Alright, who are you? Wait. Are you the same person as I met before? No, you're Rima. What is it? I feel like I've met you before, but I don't recall having any Hylian acquaintances. Especially since I've only ever served in the palace. I've never even set foot beyond the town's walls. Wait, when you say palace, do you mean up there? Or do you mean the royal palace? Oh wait, you've never even set foot beyond the town's walls. I'm stupid. I get it. 
I thought I could relax at last, now that Bulliara has come of age. But then something like this happens. I'm retired now, though, so there isn't anything I can do about it. What happened? A little while ago, a gang of thieves slipped into the palace and stole the chief's heirloom, the Thunderhelm. Yeah, I'm on a quest to get that. It's bad enough to be robbed in general, but for the object stolen to be a valued heirloom belonging to our own chief. If I was still in charge, any guard who failed to catch those thieves would be doing some serious manual labor. Oh yeah? Well, now that we're talking about it, there is a guard up front who sucks at her job! She couldn't even tell a vo from a vi. Anyway, and then they'd be thrown back into training all the way from the beginning. No exceptions. Rima, you sound like a good person. I like you. I respect you. What's this? Real redesign. The noble canteen. Hey, let's go get a drink. I'm thirsty from all this talking. Meeting new people. Furiosa! I mean, that's what I wish her name was. Kind of fitting for the desert here. Vazak! Oh, are you a Hylian Vi? We don't see too many of you. I can't tell how old you are, but you look a little young to be coming to my shop. You see, we make special drinks here. Drinks that are definitely just for adults. Special drinks? Oh. Well, a big part of the drink is the ice we use from the ice house. It makes them especially refreshing. Let me guess, you got that from Ice Town? Along with your gasoline from Gas Town? <laughs> well, you're a little too young to be here, don't you think? No, I'm not! Uh, Ma'am, I am the hero of Hyrule. And the hero of Hyrule gets to have his drink. Damn it. Anyway, got any recommendations? Mm. Our featured cocktail is called Noble Pursuit. Many of our customers come here specifically to order it. Yep, I've heard talk about this drink. Someone told me about it in town. The light, sweet taste, the cool sensation from each sip. It's like drinking distilled motivation. Oh, well, uh, you're a little too young to be here, don't you think? You can't sell tell me that and then not allow me to have some. Anyway, milk? Uh. Milk? We don't carry anything as childish as milk here. Did Greta tell you to come here and ask that? That store clerk is just playing a prank on you. Mm. Good grief. Doesn't she have anything better to do with her time? She's always being so secretive about her shop. But hiding something just makes people more interested. Well, you're a little too young to be here, don't you think? Listen, speaking of secrets, do you happen to know a password? To a certain place. No? Alright. That reminds me. I haven't seen Poggy around here lately. She used to come here every day to drink a noble pursuit too. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm even telling you this. Who's Poggy? I wanna know who Poggy is. <laughs> What's going on? You guys are chilling. What are you drinking? Oh, I was gonna tell you. I finally got my hands on the password for you know where. Uh. Seriously? Wow, that place is a little crazy, isn't it? Uh. Maybe, but I'm really interested. <laughs> anyway, the password is... Mm. Wait a second. Huh? You! Did you really think we wouldn't see you standing there listening to our conversation? So rude. This is a private conversation. Go away! Fuck. Ladies! I will be taking my leave. Will I though? I'm coming back. Sneaking. On the prowl. Moving at three times this legal limit. <laughs> okay, this is not gonna work, uh. is it? How am I gonna oh. do this? <laughs> mm. Yeah, they're not eh? gonna tell me about the password. I need to be more sneaky. She said a bit too much, maybe. Stupid. Whoa. Who needs him? Having man trouble? Well, good luck. That's a rough one. 
Hey! This is the power of the Hylian hero himself on display. Remember it well, ladies. I guess I will take my leave. Could I maybe listen to this conversation from down here? He won't climb. Can I climb here and just sort of listen from here? <laughs> Come on, let me listen to the conversation. God damn it. Let me talk to the barkeeper again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's nothing else. Who is Pocky anyway? Maybe this is not where I get the uh, the answer to the question about the password. Maybe the kids know the password. Maybe they overheard it. Hey, Dahlia. What's a vibe from out of town doing in a place like this? What are you doing? <laughs> ha! I'm still keeping it a secret from Mama, but I'm growing a fruit garden here. Are you? Then I can eat all the fruit I want until my tummy gets filled right up. Aww. I haven't figured out what I want to plant here yet, though. If I grow a lot, I'd share some of it with you, okay? Cool, that's a deal, little person. You are definitely a person. Person confirmed. Who are you? Oh, it's Melina. Molduga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. See ya. I'll be out of your hair. Okay. I think maybe it's time that I went out there and did some quests. Perhaps even uh, killed a certain divine beast. Actually, I need the Thunder Helm for that first. So I will be doing that. But all that and more in the next episode of the Hero of Hyrule and his adventures in Hylian lands. Man, this whole episode was just Gerudo Town. Yeah. I'm a bit slow when I play. I like, to I like doing this stuff, okay? You're probably used to that by now, so this should be a surprise. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully I'll be slaying that beast soon enough. So, hope you're having a good day. Adios.